So I was on the Apple subreddit about a week ago and someone had posted about the IINA media player uh, and it's an alternative to VLC that uses macOS's native frameworks. So there was some discussion about research, uh, resource usage and I wanted to see uh, which one was better and uses less resources. So what I did was I took a um, my dash cam footage that I have, uh, you'll see playing in the background now. Uh, obviously, it's fast forward, but my dash cam is 4K, and I also took a uh, 4K 10 bit file that I found on the internet, and then I made sure that I uh, had both 265 and 264 files of these ones, and I also re encoded the dash cam into 480p, 720p, and 1080p resolution just to kind of simulate uh, all the kind of different files that you might on a daily basis play on these players. Then what I did was uh, just played them on both and I opened Activity Monitor, toggled between CPU and memory, and just wrote down some uh, figures and uh, I did some averages. So the uh, CPU numbers for VLC are much lower than IINA, and um, the RAM is also much uh, less. But the second time I just ran the numbers on IINA, they, the RAM was actually much lower and actually uh, sometimes lower than VLC. But I'll keep the original numbers that I got the first time because those are the numbers. And um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep everything in the description uh, if you want to try these files on your computer but basically if you have an old computer or a um, not as powerful computer you might want to use VLC and not IINA and uh, this was tested on my Mac mini 2018 with the i3 processor and I have 32 gigs of RAM and on an unrelated note if you happen to be buying any model Tesla model 3 X or S please look in the description and you'll find my referral link. It'll help me out to get the new Roadster. Thanks.